How did we go from this? To this. Good stay. Coming up. What's up guys, Tom Davis here, America's Canine Educator. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Hey, today I'm gonna give you guys what you want, what you've been asking and what you frankly deserve. An update of Jeffrey and Romeo, the two reactive German Shepherds that I introduced you last week on my channel. Now, Romeo was very reactive to people and dogs on the leash, and Jeffrey, as you know, was extremely reactive and possessive of his kennel. Now, we've come a very long way since then in the, next, the last couple days, and what I wanna do today is do a dual session. So I'm gonna be throwing in a little bit of the equations of how we've gotten successful with both dogs, as well as trying, I don't know how it's gonna go because we haven't done it yet, trying to introduce the two dogs in a training session. No! So I want, to, I want you guys to come with me. I want you to follow along step by step. And I'm gonna hand this off to Taylor. We're gonna go in the back and grab the dogs and get started. Let's go. We're also gonna be doing a giveaway. Yes, that's right. A one hour free giveaway with me face to face via FaceTime, Skype, no matter where you are in the world. All you have to do is play the keyboard challenge coming up. It's really simple. All you have to do to enter is when I say go, you're gonna hit the space bar and you're gonna leave your dog's name letter by letter in the comments below to enter to win. Ready, set, go. So the most important thing guys is just being able to control as much as we possibly can to eliminate any opportunity for him to guard any resources. Sit, good, I go through, ah, ah, sit, stay. Just structure, nice job buddy, break, good. Sit, good, stay, good. I do a double threshold here with that and then this. Good. See how he's looking at me, guys? That's important. See how he just looked at me? So see how we've gained control? That's really important. Break. So what I'd like to do now, guys, is walk you through some of the exercises we've done to get peed on. Just kidding. Close. Uh, but what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through some of the exercises that we've done with him to get him to this point. As you can see, dramatic difference here. And I'm gonna show you exactly how we've done that through consistency and hard work and just telling him that he's not in the driver's seat, we are. So let's go. So I'm controlling almost every single aspect of what he's doing when he's out on the leash with me, when he's not in his break. So structure to dogs could be many different things, but to me and Jeffrey, what it's gonna mean is, is hey buddy, I know that you think you can do all of this stuff. I know you think you can possess stuff. I know you've gotten away with it in the past. So I'm simply just gonna take micro and macro. So the micro is, is I'm gonna teach him that he has to do little individual things for me with me being in charge of the entire situation until I then release him or give him the break command. So the micro is, is he's doing all these little behaviors, but the macro is, is he's taking direction from me and me only, and he's not making decisions on his own, which hopefully at the end of the day will take him from, hey, I control the world, to maybe I should ask for permission before I start doing stuff. So we're gonna go over those examples now. The first thing is, is simply telling him to place. So I want you to watch the way I do this. I use my body, I use my leash, I use my voice inflection to make sure that he's doing exactly what I want him to do when I ask him to do it. Jeffrey, place. Good, so a little bit of proofing here, guys. Ah, ah, good. Vo so right there, I'm, I'm glad that you guys got to see that. And I'm glad I'm walking you through this process right there was all timing. So there was voice inflection with the ah, there was the leash pressure with the pop, and then I came up with my body and completely stopped him here. So all of that happened in probably less than a second. So timing is really, really key. When you're teaching a dog anything, it doesn't matter if you're doing behavior modification or what have you, all of that timing came in right at the right time and told him, nope, that's not what I want you to do. Stay. Good. Good, break. Good job. Nope. Good. Good, so quick, he just got up there uh, when I told him to stay. Break. The other thing that we've been doing, obviously, that he has a huge problem with, like you guys saw in the first video, is his food. So we've been just working on a little leash pressure with the leave it command. Leave it. 
Avoidance, yes, good. Again, just gatekeeping, basically a big slider right here to let him know you can have that when I say. Good, leave it. Good, I'll pay him there. Good job, good. Hand feeding is also something we've been doing with his, with his meals. He gets two cups AM, PM. We've been feeding him his meals through our hands as well. Just to let him know that everything that he wants comes through us. So that's exactly what we've been doing on a micro macro. So the micro is, leave it means you can't have this. Okay, fine, I won't take that. The macro is, is he's listening to me, which, he, which is what created a lot of his possession issues in the first place and a lot of the abilities for him to make those really rash decisions like you saw in the first episode. He gets very explosive, very barky, growly, teeth snarling, I own the whole place. And we're breaking that whole concept down through micro and macro management. And so um, one other really important thing that we've been doing with him, which uh, a lot of people don't cover, and I typically actually don't cover it, is exercise. So what we've been doing with him, putting him on the treadmill, bringing him for walks at least once or twice a day to really, really just get some of that energy out because he's still only nine months old. So he's still got a lot of energy to burn and we've been doing a lot of that as well. Hey Zach, can you grab Romeo? I want to try to bring uh, Jeffrey and Romeo out for a walk. Now again, like both these dogs need structure. That's what they've lacked. That's what the problem with both of them was, was structure, leadership, and guidance. So for the first time, we're gonna bring him for, I don't know how it's gonna go. I mean, there's a really good chance I'm gonna cut and say, okay, that didn't go good. Um, but there's, there's also a slight chance that they're gonna adapt really well with me and uh, go for a walk and be able to coexist and be hopefully calm and uh, see how it goes. I'm just gonna walk T, leave it. No! Little training caboose action here. This is all. <laughs> This, Jeffrey, white German Shepherd, is, tr is trying to play. See how, see how bratty he is? He is, is not having it. Feeding off his, ah. good. So what you guys are seeing here is, he doesn't know how to play, nor does he really want to play, and he's being pretty bossy and shovey with it. And Jeffrey's basically being very antagonistic with it. He's kind of doing his thing and he's very bratty. That's very typical for him to do that. So this is good uh, dog behavior learning for not only me, but for these guys as well. And of course you guys, good. Okay, come, good. Ah, 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 no, leave it, come. Just so you guys know at home, Romeo came here for extreme leash reactivity. Jeffrey came here with extreme reactivity to everything, people, dogs, so on and so forth. So we spent a couple days and I just worked about five to seven minutes on these guys here in the parking lot, continuing to just correct them, come on, correct them and lead them through the situation and you just have to iron it out with your momentum. Just to say, hey, you two aren't gonna do this. I'm gonna move forward this way. I'm gonna turn, pay attention to me. Good job, guys. Huge improvement with both of them. I'm proud of both of them. They've come a long way in a couple days. We still have, we're not out of the woods. We still have a lot of work to do, but it just, that's what we've been doing is structure. Throughout this whole video, I've been giving you exercises to work on, how to put you first and not your dogs and it really improves the life of them. They realize who's in charge and they understand that they don't make decisions and then everything else falls into place. I would appreciate if you guys like this video, leave a comment below, let me know what you thought of this video. Um, subscribe to my channel if you'd like. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, follow me on Instagram, at Tom Davis and at Upstate Canine Academy for all their progression. I appreciate you guys very much. I will talk to you next time, peace.